Yeah, it's far out and technical and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shop Box. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shop Box. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shop Box. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shop Box. Cool. Ah, good morning. Welcome to the Tech Shaman Show. Oh, boy, we got some cool stuff today. So, do you trust Google? Have you ever trusted Google? <laughs> I think that's I mean, the real question, yeah. Ever? Have you really ever, 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 ever trusted Google? See, here I am. I'm just going to jump right into this really quickly. The first thing we're going to talk about is how much longer will we trust Google's search results? Now, as an experiment, we did... One touch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I Googled it, and I couldn't find it. I got it. I put it on, and it lasted one day, and it came off my computer. It was buggy as all get out, and <clears throat> I don't know if it's because of the safety protocols in there that they're so, you know, they're not supposed to track you. It almost, to me, felt like it was running in uh, private mode. Yeah. And uh, the search results, and I and I ran search results, and, and of course I use Google as my main line, my baseline. Uh, it they found some some of the most obscure things. <laughs> Maybe like, it's what it's supposed to be finding, but because the Google algorithm does two things: number one, it remembers what you searched for, so it knows who you are and what some of your regular likes and dislikes are, and so it's going to steer you on a more customized level than anybody else. And number two. Um, Google has an agenda and they steer you where they want to steer you to find what they want you to find. So you have two factors there that are coming in that are really going to honestly skew the Google yeah. results, not the other search engine. Do they really do that? Of course. Do you think they do that? No. Do you believe that? No. Me neither. I know it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> It's been well, shown to see, this is times. what happens. Just when give you, Google money; you'll find out where just, you, yeah, you exactly. where you rate. This is this is what happens when you you know when when we've based everything that we do on the internet into Google's algorithms. Yeah. yeah, everything. I mean, you know, we have we've had all these search engines forever. We've had uh, Microsoft, which is whatever it's called now, Edge, but it's been Bing, blah blah blah. You had Bing, you had uh, Firefox, you had Safari. Um, what was a couple other ones that are gone now? Oh, God. AOL, AOL yeah. Net, uh, Netscape. I mean, they were ultimately all yeah, search cool. engines. But <clears throat> it was amazing that a few years ago, all of a sudden, Google says, Google. Now, everybody else was sitting out there. Google says, well, if you don't have mobile sites, we're just not going to search anymore. Freaked everybody out. And what did we do? We went to the... So it's amazing. We funneled everything to hit Google's algorithms. Yeah. Of course. We, we, we didn't say, well, what about Bing? What about Microsoft? Yahoo, what, what about, about Yahoo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Yahoo. Yeah, well, what about Yahoo, Safari? Bing, and, <clears throat> and Google are the big three. And the fourth one is YouTube now. But yeah. yeah. yeah those, but it's those not are a, your big but it's ones. Not a, it's not a search those are engine search engines. engines. I know that it, it's, it's, yeah. it acts like one, but it's not one. So yeah, It only delivers results so on its own So my question is, is... So how long are we going to sit there and go? Um, Google's the bomb. Google's the one that makes the rules. Um, I think, <clears throat> and as a matter of fact, we'll, we'll go and jump right over to Edge after this yeah, because it kind of makes sense to talk about it. So Microsoft decided to jump in, back in, try to get themselves back into the world of um, having their own search engine. Well, browser and browser, search engine. Browser, browser, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but it's still based off of Chrome. Right. Well, what it was is... Um, EM. They, yeah, Chromium. <laughs> but, EM. you know, what, what it is is Microsoft first, they created Edge when Windows 10 released. And what had happened is there's so much, you know, so much of the web is already based off of Chrome and <coughs> and uh, Firefox and other, other platforms that trying to build a whole browser from the ground up and right. trying to include everybody was just becoming a very, you know tedious task for Microsoft. So they kind of stepped away from the edge that they were building that 
dark blue E that was on your Windows 10 machines. And they've basically took that whole, that whole build and went to an open source platform, which is called Chromium. Um, that's what Cr Google Chrome is built off of. Right. right. And they're using that platform and then putting in their own code and rebranding it as the new Edge browser. So <laughs> that's what's uh, what's beginning to happen. It even looks like Chrome. So, uh, yeah, it's got the... The circle, their, 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 their <sighs> E, which looks, is what it is, <clears throat> literally looks like... It a looks upside down the, G. Yeah, it it looks like a. Uh, I mean, look. If you just turn it, if you or, flop or, or, it, or you flop it, it looks like a wave. It's a G. It's a wave. No, no. It's, yeah, it, let's it's call a it G. what it is, bro. It's that's, a G. That's, it's that's a G. That's, an, that's, a, so, that's an inverted G. Yeah. <laughs> the well, the cool you know thing. The inverted G. <laughs> <laughs> The cool oh, thing is, that sound like a it's position. got a legacy uh, mode built oh, into it. We have found the G spot. The G spot. The G -spot. There it is, right there. <laughs> so anyway, to me, -spot. to well, me, it, it's just, um, it's just, it's just, it's a blue Google. Well, it's yeah. got a few things different. It has a legacy mode for uh, to to basically perform like Internet Explorer. So if you're in a corporate <laughs> environment and you want, you have no choice because. The government, for instance, has yes. not updated any of their sites, yep. um, and you still need to get into them. They have a legacy mode that you can turn on and get into sites that normally only would work with That's Internet incredibly Explorer. valuable. That's very valuable right now. So that keep, keeps you safe and so <coughs> allows you yep. to, to access sites that you know are not safe. So I, I, went to their, I went to look on their extensions page. Which are all out of the Microsoft Store. Just to let you know. Coincidence. Yeah. yeah what a Absolute coincidence. coincidence. Oh, don't forget the default search engine is Bing, oh. and it's very difficult to go change. As uh, <laughs> well, they you make know. it that way. Yeah. So you think it's pretty deep in that. Why. It's pretty deep just you to know? change, but it can be changed. At first, I started getting wondering if Microsoft was gonna be that that guy, but they decided that they'll they'll let you change it. It's just they're not gonna make it very easy to it's find. Just you have to have the secret password. Secret password, yes. Yeah. God, unbelievable. Um, it 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 is less. It's it is less resource hungry than Chrome. It is really yes. It it, it, it is a very. It's a small bit faster at loading pages. Mm. Um, it was incredibly fast at loading uh, um, some YouTube videos that we also sped up to try to kind of do a little test to see if it would break up and, mm -hmm. and see how it did. It did very well, believe it or not. Really? It was very surprising how quick and how responsive. How safe is it? As safe as Google Chrome. It's it's built off the same the same backbone as Chromium. So So now is this an update to the edge that's already sitting on our machine? Yes. If you if you go right now and download it, it says download for Windows ten. Um, it will overtake the edge that's in there. Okay. And replace the icons with the the new Chromium Edge that really? Microsoft. The new inverted G. The new Well, get this. This is also let you ready for this? This is also capable of running on Mac OS. So this is the first time in a long time that Internet Explorer is now coming back to Apple product, which is kind of odd. So Still kind of you, you know, <coughs> I want to say something about the search engine conversation that we were having, and that is a misconception that a lot of people have about how the search engines works and why you know, the, the, the new search engine will have such dramatically different results. And that is because um, when, when you go to a search engine, say Google, and you type in whatever it is you're looking for, you know, uh, green eggs and ham. Love um, green eggs and ham. I know, I love it. <coughs> Sam, I am. And you see all these listings that come up, you know, there are you know, 98 million listings. And actually, Google has not gone searching anywhere on the internet for what you're seeing. This is all coming out of their own database. They're, they're robots. They're spiders go out yeah. and they crawl everywhere and they make little snapshots of all the websites. And then they bring it back and they store the data in these giant offshore like floating warehouses that are just full of servers. So that when you go and you type into Google, you know, find me a pizza place around me, it's actually not looking anywhere around you or anything. It's cross-referencing within its own database your zip code with pizza places that its spiders found last week, last month, last year. And so when you get data, uh, it, 
And if you've ever, you know, clicked on a link and gotten a dead link, that's why. They haven't gone back and rescanned it since yeah. they killed the page, killed the site, whatever it is. And now you may have just alerted them to the, the fact that it was a dead page, and it may not be up there much longer. And so they'll go scrub their database on it. But um, the fact is, when we're looking at a new um, search engine, then you're going to get some very different results because they haven't been out there cataloging the whole internet the mm -hmm. whole time. Um, and if I can jump over for just a second, a lot of people who are doing Facebook advertising, you know, from their uh, from their blogs or from their websites, uh, this is a real problem because Facebook does the same thing. When you first post uh, a link to a website, you'd think that you're posting a link to the website. You're not. What it is, Facebook is taking a snapshot and adding that snapshot to its own database. You find that out when you have a typo in your headline. And you don't see it until you've already, you know, put it on Facebook and you go, oh crap. So you go back to your original on your website and you fix it and you come back to Facebook, it's still wrong. Because Facebook is only showing the snapshot. About the only way to fix that is to kill the article and repost it. Mm. Uh, so that it has a new, you, you know, distinct, unique URL, and then Facebook will scan it again and make another picture of it. But a lot of what we see on the internet is not actually on the internet. It's not live, and so we're, we're, we're seeing copies that are coming out of the databases, and that's it. All right. So there you have it. That's interesting. <clears throat> okay. Well, so. Uh, I just killed the conversation. Look at me. Yeah, you did good. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, so, Eric, <laughs> so keep using Google then. No. That's what no. I just heard. <laughs> no, that's not what you just heard. What you just heard well, was just got you're no going to get some, some really cool things that you'd never find on Google, okay, if you try some of these other browsers. And well, maybe they're, I, maybe I they're working on the web backwards. Search engines. I, I like Mozilla. Well, And I still use Opera. Yeah. Right again. Uh, Opera is a Chromium-based. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and again, those are those are browsers. Yeah, I stopped using <laughs> not search why engines. I stopped using it as much as yeah. I did. but but they're still not search engines. Those are still browsers. DuckDuckGo. But there's a lot of yeah, DuckDuckGo is is pretty crappy. I think the, the browsers private. have a lot of integration into uh, into the search engines nowadays, though. Well, where they're feeding their data over yeah. to the search engines. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose, and the more you use Edge. The better their search it'll, it'll, it, will be. It'll all turn into Chrome again. <laughs> it'll all be Google. In the end, it's just it's all Google. Yeah, yeah. Rob in the back says we're all going to Netscape Navigator. That's the same. <laughs> <laughs> we're all reverting back to. Oh God, wow, that's that. a that's throwback. Is all get out. So all right. Yeah. So let's jump over to. <clears throat> Since I'm the TV guy, the video guy. Hey, Rob, do me a favor. Can you kick the uh, audio, uh, the um, AC down in Studio A, please? Um, so, Directv is moving one of its satellites satellites to a safer orbit over fears of explosion. Oh, okay. so <clears throat> are they moving it to make the satellite safe? No, or I, are they I see moving that. it because the satellite's going to explode? I think they're moving it because it states something about the batteries. Mm. Maybe they're getting too hot in the orbit that they're at. <laughs> <laughs> they're asking them to do too much work. Irreversible thermal damage to its vehicle's internal battery. So there's too wow. much drag. Mm. <clears throat> Basically, ultimately, it comes down to the point: it's too much drag and it's overheating the internals. Yeah. Now. They're so crowded up there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know. Crowded. Where are they going to go? Well, due to the problem with satellite's batteries, the satellite may burst apart at the end of February. Well, excuse me. I mean, if, if it's by the end of February, are they, how, much, how, many, how much deterioration has already happened yeah. to be able to explode <clears throat> in, in 30 days? You might as well just give up now. I mean, you need you to just send that thing hurtling into the sun. Well, there you go. No, what they're going to do is... They, they're, 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 along with all its channels. It, well, they're going to move it to an orbit where when it blows apart, it doesn't take out all the other satellites in that, in, in that level. See, okay, so, okay. That's really what they're so going to do. So I think do. that if you're allowed to put satellites in space... That you should have a self-destruct uh, plan in place where it pulls itself safely out of orbit, doesn't yeah. hit anybody else, and hurdles itself to the sun. But that, the sun just I wonder if they have can't do that. Why not? What? How do you get a satellite in orbit? 
people you put up on a rocket. Exactly. That's how you move them more than just a little bit. They, they have to have a rocket booster, okay, in order to be able to move that what? far. These what? things have little, like, aerosol <coughs> cans. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> But you know that's all but, it takes to reposition. But if you these. can if you can reposition it to a further outer space, then no, you can. No, it, no, no, no. They're not going further out. They're they're probably going further in. They're probably coming down lower, so it'll blow apart and not hit any other satellites, and then burn up on reentry. No, I'll, I'll almost guarantee you they're coming. Well, in. I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But my point is is mm -hmm. you sh they there should be. My point, so you didn't listen to, you were thinking about your response and not listen to what I said. I said that if from this day forward, if you're putting anything in the outer space, oh. it has, it should have the contingency to have whatever it takes to move it out of the orbit and into the sun. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. I want to know who insures these, uh, these satellites for, for Boy, collision Geico. Issue. For collision, collision insurance. Issue. Collision yeah. insurance. Oh, no, no, no. Is, they're covered. You just got a $6 billion deductible. Geico oh is Just the, like my um, health care plan. Geico is uh, the military. Is, they're the military, right? Military. Well, they used to be. Well, they yeah. used to be military yeah. insurance, right? Government employees. There you go. Yeah. Um, no, there are a lot of satellites that go up that are small, very <laughs> tiny. Well, look I, at I know Bezos. one. No, I mean, not Bezos, but I have. The other rich guy. Branson. Musk. Musk. He's putting all those little satellites all over the Well, I've, I've got a personal friend who is launching a satellite next November. And he, he's part of a project. It's going up on one of the rockets. And it is, it is the size of this iPad. <gasps> it's a home base rocket. Okay. Different stages. <coughs> and so, so if they the had to stop. What? Wow. Lots of, yeah, his satellite is that big. Okay. And, but the, the point being... How do you make that able to leave orbit and go jump to the sun? Well, and there's a ton of satellites up there that are like that. They're, I mean, Sputnik was only the size of a basketball. That's that's what NASA's for. Figure it out. If you no. want to, you want to. That's what the space forces. That's what space force is for. Space they need force. to be up there with, um, with laser, a laser, <laughs> laser beams. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> to interrupt this conversation, but is is that an Airwick aerosol can that you're drinking out of? Yes. Yes, no. it, is. <laughs> it does look like that. I got I got the beige version up there. Um, no, I, that's what I'm saying. They, I, I know it adds up to everybody's budget to figure it out, but figure it out. I mean, you, I mean, literally, you have. If it's that have, tiny, just let it burn up on reentry. Why bother? Because what happens if it doesn't? What if happens if it doesn't go in and bounces and then it goes into a major satellite? Wow. You want to work out the physics on that one for me? Yeah. We'll work on that one later. We'll do the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do the, let's do the math. As, as Sheldon would say, let's do the math. Six. I like the, No. Six. Seven. Oh, here we go. Sixes versus seven. I like right, eight. Uh, Meanwhile, back in technology. I like eight because uh, it makes you smile when you say eight. 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 Well, that's, you're purposely not doing it. Eight. No. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> We've had too much fun on this conversation. Um, the world of, okay, here we go. I, this, I did not know. So this is going to be an atom. I didn't know Cortana was recording us off our computers. Well, during, during the first initial setup stage, there is an option to use Cortana, and you can turn that feature off. It asks you. Um, so it didn't used to. It didn't I didn't used think to. it did. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, in the, uh, 1909 and you know, even uh, 1903 during the installation, you know, she starts talking to you the whole time and then asks you, you know, during yeah. the setup process if you yeah. want to use Cortana. And if you do, <laughs> then obviously you agree to, you know, the rules and regulations that it's going to be listening to everything that's going on in the background. Wow. And somehow that just didn't Well, look, at, I mean, it, that's the same as yeah. if you're using your uh, Xbox, uh, your, yeah. because Cortana is across the board. Right. And Siri. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's listening. Siri. Yeah. Um, which we have to be careful so you, how you we say that. you literally have to go Because into every it. device on this table will light up all of a sudden. Siri? <laughs> so the, the funny no. thing is, it says manage your Microsoft account, but it, it's, that's, you know, they're showing you how to, how to remove those recordings, but is Cortana listening to you if you set up what they call a local account on the machine and do not utilize a Microsoft online account? Uh, the, is Microsoft still gathering that data uh, as an anonymous user? No, they'd be storing it on your server, though, wouldn't they? Well, no, because you're, you can create a local account on the machine, right. which is not signed into Microsoft, but 
uh, Windows 10 does obviously send information back to Microsoft. Yeah, my one yeah, drive's I, up to date, which means they've got all my recordings. I have not been signed into my Microsoft account in years. Yes. I just leave it off, and it keeps reminding me, hey, you have it. I'm like, yeah, and I'm not going to. Thank you. So... Does it capture uh, domain users' uh, uh, recordings, too, in a corporate environment? Oh, never thought of that. Yeah. So that's why he does what he does. So he <laughs> that's why he talks about what he talks So you can't. So it does look like you can go in there and delete it and get rid of all. Can you get rid of all the old recordings? Yeah, but that's under. And, and again, yeah, that's, like I'm saying, who cares? If you look They've at already it, been transferred. If you look at it, it is under the Microsoft account is, to, is where you delete the recordings. Now, to... Yeah. Um, the features to remove the, um, you know, to stop stop her from listening to you is inside the computer itself. Um, where do they send that information after the fact is beyond me when you don't have a Microsoft account signed in. So there's still that op option that, you know, where does it go? <clears throat> I mean, before you leave, show me this. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I, uh, I talk You know, because, I mean, you look at that, and then you have to wonder. Yeah. If, if hold on, if I got a, a search warrant and a wiretap, could it be retroactive? Could I go in and grab the Cortana records of someone's office and listen to what they've been talking about for the last two years? They have... Um as a matter of fact, I was reading up on a, uh, there was a, a murder case where the, they pulled the Alexa. Yeah, they pulled the Alexa records. The Alexa records yep. of Ooh. the final recordings that Alexa was hearing yep. um, during that time, which means that there's no, obviously there's no code word. You know, it's not going to be like, hey, Alexa, how do I, you know, kill this person right here in front of you while the person's no, staring you, at but you? but if you have someone, if, you, if you're talking to someone like, oh, I was going to kill that guy, and I'm just going to make him disappear, and this is how I'm going to do it, and blah, blah, blah. But that's, yeah. But is there other key words that Alexa always listens to right. besides Alexa? Kill. Oh, yes, let's start recording now. You know, I mean, does that, is that the case? Yeah. You know? Do exactly. they work with law enforcement enough to say, hey, here's a, here's a batch of key words we want you to listen for? They actually do, because there was a case about two months ago where a woman was being beaten in her apartment by her ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. and they said the right combination of words that Alexa responded and called 911. And it was not, hey, Alexa, call 911. Okay? It was the right combination of words. And so, yeah, it, it definitely does that. Of course, I remember, God, it was years ago, I'd, I, I'd said, um, and I, I, I can't say the first part, blank Siri, um, <laughs> how do you dispose of a body? And she came back with, and it was, it was absolutely priceless, she came back with, I don't really know, but would you like to hear music from, um, oh, crap, now I lost the music, the, the movie, <laughs> uh, Pulp Fiction. Ah. Uh, and it That's was great. brilliant. Well, actually, <laughs> when when Siri first came out, and you and you could ask, you know, how, yeah. you know, there, she would say, "There are no swamps or blah 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 near you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm like, wow. <laughs> okay, that's not good. So I uh, still thought. Anyway. You, but can I play you a song from Pulp? <coughs> 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 Sorry, yeah. everybody. Make sure you go in. You um, mm, fix erase. your settings on that right yeah. there. So. I have a question for you two guys. <clears throat> um, if you go somewhere, you order an Uber, and Uber shows up and there's no driver, are you getting in? <laughs> nope. Sorry. Yep. No. I'm getting in. Are you really? Yep. <laughs> He's waiting. <laughs> you don't trust Goober, but you'll trust a freaking Uber. <laughs> you don't trust Goober? <laughs> oh, oh, I trust man. Goober and Opie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I don't uh, know. No. I think I'd have uh, a hard nope. time with... Yeah, no, I don't so, think the technology is there yet. I the don't. Hold on a minute. What you're missing, they sensationalize no, no. every single accident, okay? Yeah. But, and they go, look, it's not perfect. You want to rack up how accurate they are compared to an average human driver, and you win. You know what? I don't think it's, it. I think the technology is there, yep. as in software-wise. Yep. But I don't think the sensors, sensor-wise, is really there because they're either they're not using high high enough definitions, you know, cameras or whatever they're doing, you know, 
there's going to be glitches. <clears throat> okay. And it can only respond to what it, the information it gathers around okay. it. Everything you just said applies to your Uber driver. Well, true. Okay, so Don't at least I'm getting a with consistent level of quality, okay, yeah. with the AI. <laughs> well, true. I'm tossing a coin on the at least, driver. At least the AI okay. is not going to turn around. At least <laughs> he could be drunk. He could be wasted. He could be suicidal that morning. True. Okay, we don't know. And yet the AI, every time. Hi there. Yeah, yeah it could be. I'm going to avoid hitting update. these children. Prepare to drive off the bridge. Okay, I know I'm in this for that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what to expect. Exactly. No, no, I'm good. I don't, I, you know, look, it's I, they've got to have, I mean, it looks like from the picture, They've got a, um, it looks like a sat dish on yeah. top of that car. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know. Scanner if, on top. Are they really using Volvos? Because <laughs> that's expensive. I think I put more like a Hyundai out there or something like that. Well, like no, that. because you got to, you know, think <clears throat> how safe a Volvo is. Used to be. Yeah, might as well use a Tesla. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, at least you're going to get hit. I think you'd be driving around in tanks. That's just me, though. Well, but I mean, to yeah. me, I, I, they say at first they're they're not going to be jockeyless, so there will be a someone in the seat doing a crossword puzzle. <laughs> and I wonder who's going to get paid for that. Is the driver going to be paid for his drive time? Does he get? Tipped? And who? who what Uber driver there. can afford to go out and have your whole car set up for that? Yeah, true. Yeah, well, I uh, well, that's what I'm saying. So, is it going to be a true, honest to God Uber employee sitting there? Well, it's serving you drinks. Well, you know, it's I mean, have, you know, you could get some really it's personal have attention to be there because you know what? It's not going to be Uber's not going to spend the money to put the information, you know, all that, all that tech on somebody else's car. What it's going right. to be is their own cars, which means that the it's person that sits in there is going to be an employee. Yeah, yeah, they're making nine bucks an hour. You know, look up every now and then and make yeah. sure the cars. Still and of on the road. all the places, Washington D.C. I don't know if you guys have ever driven in Washington D.C., no, but that you. is a mess. I would rather drive in New York City than Washington D.C. I, 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 I lived in Alexandria. Andrea, yeah. 30 years ago, and I'll drive in Miami too. Better. I've been in, I dude, I've, I've literally, I've worked, I worked in Washington for three months, and I, that was just the most jacked up place I've ever seen. I ever tried to drive in my life. Mm. Boston's pretty bad. So <coughs> I wonder nope. who's going to be. I'll it, take Washington is probably my number one worst. Place if they're going to have a person in the vehicle who doesn't look up fast enough. Is it his fault because he wasn't steering the wheel? Well, that's just it. I'm sure it's <laughs> it's in his user agreement. Yeah, uh, that it's his <laughs> it's fault. you gotta pay attention. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna hit that brake any minute now. Ready, 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 ready. So I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'll be like. So, so the car disables the brake when you go to hit it. No, no, no. Not today. I know Not today, better. Alex. I know better. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Uh, <laughs> What are you I doing? don't know. <laughs> I, I think I, I I think I'm not quite ready for that. So, kids. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, if you're a Comcast cable subscriber, you're ready to pay more. Wait, are, <laughs> well, technically, isn't everybody a Comcast yeah. subscriber? Kind of, actually. No. Um, but he's not. So I guess they're going to raise their their prices because, <clears throat> especially if you're uh, bundling your cable. Because of the streaming channels. They're going to start adding the streaming? Yeah. 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 Well, they'll start adding Peacock. That's one. What's Peacock? Right. Peacock is the NBC that's streaming channel. Proud of Peacock? That's been around Duh. forever. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, They're so not with it. No, in living color. Oh, my color. gosh. So, Which no. is why they chose the Peacock, yeah. because it had the colorful tail feathers. So they have, they're making a, they have a stream... Yeah, new streaming service. Yeah, it's, never yeah, yeah that doesn't make sense. Okay, so they're going to raise the prices of cable to include their streaming. Right. Well, that doesn't make any why? sense. Okay, why doesn't it make sense? Because people are not really getting anything out of it. Yeah, they are. Are they getting a streaming service? Well, look at CBS, um, uh, whatever the CBS one is. CBS. You, you, uh, you, you CBS can't get that on cable. You have to subscribe to <coughs> the CBS It's the only content. way I get to watch Star Trek. Exactly. Mm. Discovery. Yeah. You have to subscribe yeah. to the CBS streaming. Yep. It's, it, and they're doing gangbusters on it. Interesting. Enough to pay for the program. Don't and worry. Enough to pay don't worry for me it. to wait another year and watch the whole season in a week and then pretty say, soon, no, I don't, don't need worry, a free Don't worry. Disney pretty soon is going to have the rights to, to for, for all all. And everything, and then you'll get it all yeah, on Disney and Plus. And then you just get it on Disney Plus. And you get Plus. it for free for a year if you buy a new iPhone. Yeah. Well, uh. well, so Comcast saw a drop in their numbers. Oh, they, they did. They, they lost $1.6 billion. Wow. Wow. Because well, people are people not watching it. their 
not watching television and blah, blah, blah. Well, how much did they go up? They didn't go up. No, how, how much was the price going to go up? It's going to go up. Well, it's going to go up. Uh, okay, $10 now. per month. No. Well, no, that's Peacock, if you don't want the ads and yeah. your streaming thing. Peacock is going to have 10 bucks. They're, they're going to have three tiers, and that's kind of funny. They tell you how much they lost, but they don't tell you how much is going to go up. Well, don't forget, they're also raising Internet uh, prices. So, uh, Yep. So all you people that are don't have that you have Comcast and don't want the cable, and you go, oh, I just want Internet, your Internet's going to get way more expensive. Yep. Because <clears throat> they're losing the revenue on the cable. And that's when... Somebody's going to step in and not take over because it's locked out. That's what happens when you, when you put a whole control squash on the FCC on the Internet. Isn't that the truth? <clears throat> this, you know, it's kind of funny. Everybody said this is what's going to happen. Yeah. When, they, when, when, they, when the whole open Internet closed and they put, they put, they put constraints. And they want it controlled now yep. by the FCC. Yep. Well, and people said... Your your big your big internet companies are gonna right, start raising their prices, yep. and if you get rid of and, and if all these people jump off of the bundled packages and you go just with an internet package, the internet package is typically twice the amount of what you would have paid to have the bundle. Right. Yep. Twice. Because if you would have asked, if you had a bundle, a lot of times you say, "Oh, I just uh, go ahead and take the internet off." Oh, it's only going to save you ten dollars a month. Well, what are you talking about? If I buy the internet separately, it's seventy nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you don't make sense. Yeah. No. No, the, uh, so, you know, it's and, and this is the way this is the way they kind of just stick it to no, you. I, I mean, as kind of soon just, as no. soon as those rules passed, uh, three of the major you know tech companies cut their R and D budgets because they're like, woohoo, we have no competition now. So, so because uh, they raised the bar so high to be an ISP that they're like, we don't have to worry about anybody coming in now. This, this is this. Here's here's one for Spectrum for you. Just, okay. just to give you, give you, give you. This is the mentality. They've gotten so they're yeah. they're so big because of the way stuff yeah. has happened. They send me a, a card in the mail yeah. and says, "Okay, the technology inside your modem is too old. Right. You're you. We have now upgraded the internet in your location mm -hmm. to be able to put out 400 megs a second. They didn't charge anything extra for the service, but my technology in the modem that I rent has to be upgraded. Right. Call us today." So we can go ahead and get it taken care of. So I call them. Yes, we can send a technician out to go ahead and swap out that modem. It's going to be $39.99. I said, well, 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 wait a second. I'm renting the modem from you, and you're charging me for it, and you're giving me upgraded Internet, and you can't give it to me because my technology that you own is too old, but I have to pay to get it replaced. That doesn't make sense. It's, it's shipping charges. So no, 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 no. That's, a, that's a, okay. Okay, fine. All right, then. Uh, what what can we do? Just take the modem down, and you can swap it out at any location. Look, I'm really busy. I have a lot of things going on. We can ship it to you. Okay. How much is that? Oh, it's nine ninety five. Says, what do you mean? Are you gonna charge? Okay, fine. So it's the shipping charge. So uh, a month later, they bill me my nine ninety five. <laughs> right? I still have not received the modem. So I call them and ask them, hey, where's my modem? What modem? The I'm like, uh, where's the, the modem? The one you build me for? They're like, oh, we can't mail it to you at that, lo that, uh, that your area. We don't offer ma mail service. I said, so why did you tell me you were going to mail me one? And, and then charge, mail, me, and for charge me for me for Yes, and not mail it. Wow. Oh, we're sorry. Do you want us to go ahead and downgrade your internet until uh, seeing how you can't reach the full potential until we get this? You know, you can take it, your modem down to go get it swapped out. <sighs> she, I'm like, well, what am I going to be down to? She says, well, we could just put you at the 200 package. I said, okay, well, that's fine. Oh, sorry, we don't have the 200 package in your location. We can only go down to 100. Well, I can't do 100 right now, so just leave it where it's at. I'm just paying out the, the butt for something that I can't use <clears throat> until I take the time to take the modem, just connect in, uh, all the services in the house, and go take it down and swap it out and bring it back home and hook it back up. So How come so that, that was 400 down? Yes, yeah, 400 down, 20 up. Why can't we get 100 up? Why? 20 up? Yeah, it's twenty up. I got like like I got like a hundred up on mine. I'm 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 with Verizon. But you're with well, Verizon. Well, I'm sorry, Frontier. Frontier. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Be it's because if they I, if they I've open got up like one fifty down and a hundred. It's because up. if they open up more channels on the on the line, which obviously has a limited number of channels, the they're they're gonna start losing channels that they use for the T V service and stuff. So that that's limited because of the coax. 
So until they put in, you know, fiber optic, fiber optic and yeah, which is what run I it have. right, they're not yeah. going to. Well, guess who? Guess who just dug a new line in front of my building? Files. Really good. Mm. They did. Yep. Yeah. So files for us is coming. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and I and, and I was I I was I very fortunate it. in that a Verizon employee lived on my just, street. You know, and so it, we had FiOS pretty early. It's, it's so funny. funny. But here's the thing. Is Upload is, is just as, if not more important than download. I, yeah, it is. It, download it doesn't your mean, request. Yeah, download yeah. doesn't mean nothing to us. Yeah. Literally nothing. No. I We're mean, all about our upload speed. Well, yeah, keep, for here, yeah. And I yeah. keep telling them, you know, as soon as FiOS comes in, I'm, I'm probably going to leave you. Mm -hmm. Your guys have been great, but I need FiOS. I, I, can't, I, need, an, I need a minimum of 100 up. Yeah, because right. right now we're 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 two channels short streaming because I don't have enough up, and the minute I transfer something from one computer to the other, it really it messes with my download yeah. or my up my live upload streaming. Uh, you can't wow. do it. You want to run a wire to my house? <clears throat> it's only like three and a half miles away. Well, some of the one of the kids from FiOS came by and goes, "I can get you FiOS. I can just bring you from the back back there. We'll just have to put a line." I'm like, "You can get it done. I'll take it in a heartbeat." And don't forget to tag and my the, But the problem with FiOS, okay, so when I when, when it was Verizon FiOS. Yeah, yeah. now it's Frontier. <clears throat> which is even worse. Um, <laughs> can you give me a little headroom there, Rob, please, buddy? Um, Here you go. What, what I don't, <laughs> thank you. Man. Um, what, what, I, what, what the problem is, is you pay for, because at one studio we had in downtown Newport, Richie, yeah. we were paying the big boy. We were paying for 500 up. Okay. The problem was we never got the 500 up. No, you never see the actual number they We sell weren't you. even seeing 200 up. Well, that's not okay. But yet we were being charged. So I went into this, well, look, I'm guaranteeing you that I have to pay every month. Why don't you guarantee me you have I said What you're selling up. me. <laughs> because, um, and they're like, well, how do you know? So literally every single day, in our in the server room where we had it, we had a one computer. We bought this computer strictly to do. We little it monitored monitored all day long. Yep. What our up speed was, and we never ever 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 hit 250 or above, ever. And we kept showing them, this is today. And I would take it. We would snap it with you know we snap 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 snap, and we would send it all day long. And they're like, well, you know, you, you the the fine print says up to. Yes, it does. I said, so I can so I can pay up to what I'm paying for, yeah, <laughs> or and what I'm getting. So I said, I literally I will pay a guy sit to sit there every single day. His job is to check our internet every every hour on the hour, and so that day I go, okay, well if I'm supposed to get five hundred, I'll deduct that from the bill. Well, no, sir, you can't do that. That's hilarious. And then when the and when the whole uh, Verizon Frontier thing popped over. That was one of the, probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had. I that called Bright tough. House. Back then it was Bright House. Yeah. They had me up and running in a matter of two hours. We had just switched away from Bright House because they were, just, well, you know what? This show is not about cable That's TV. That's right. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> here's, so here's uh, what I want. I want to talk about the last 18 minutes we have left over. Everybody is scared to death of AI. Not everybody. And do they have a... The majority of the people, Anthony, are afraid of AI. Okay. All okay. Right. The majority. I never use absolutes, so yeah. Um, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with AI. It's we've well, actually first of all, let everybody know we've had art, art, artificial intelligence has been around for years. It just has. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Smartphones, tablets. Well, those are algorithms. That's not AI. Well, okay? I am. Okay, that's No, different. there's there's AI in the phones. There's advanced algorithms in the phones. We can go around on this all day, too. Yeah, we can. But artificial and I will. intelligence that's what I do. is something else entirely. <laughs> it, is, it is a self-generated, self-motivated, self-teaching software. An algorithm can add to itself based on its original programming. AI doesn't have original programming. Its purpose is to go learn how to do it. Like Siri. No. Siri has an algorithm. Siri loves me. Yeah. She tells me I'm the greatest. I'm every sure she does. Day. But there's an algorithm that has been written by either human hands or with another algorithm's help right. in order to um, 
add to series knowledge database. That is very different from the chip saying, you know, I think I'm going to get more information out of this by looking up who Budweiser users are. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Well, and the reason I... Okay, okay so that is artificial So I'm going to jump on the first the first article Go I got ahead. up here. All right, so <clears throat> it's, it's an automated background checks are deciding who fits for... Who's, who's fit for a home. Who's fit for a home. Who, I almost said fit yes. for the home. Yep. Um, so this whole thing is is when you go, when you put in your application, you're, one, you know, you're a renter, you're looking to lease yeah. an apartment or what, um, it goes in there and just does the whole background check and then it does yep. a future uh, analysis on you yep. and says not whether or not you can actually be a, you can actually be a good renter right. or not. But and that that, is they're calling that AI. Read the first sentence, okay? But advocates say algorithms can't capture the complexity of criminal records. Right. That's just it. An algorithm can't actually do that. You can make... I, I have designed incredibly complex algorithms, but I have never designed AI, okay? Because AI is designing something that doesn't need to be designed anymore. And see, and I think that's, that's the reason people don't know the difference. Yeah. Um, because they're calling this AI. Yeah, and they, they confuse people. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there who, who, you know, do really well right now confusing people on this stuff and calling their stuff AI, just like nanotechnology. Oh, my God, it's nanotechnology. I nanotechnology. saw some stuff coming through that was such a joke. It's like we're, we're embedding our, our nanoparticles within, you know, something or other, you, you know, this carrier and everything. It's like, dude, dude. You combine like two basic chemicals, and so you're calling it nanotechnology because the molecules are combined. Give me a break. Right. Or okay. Super small. Super. When you say nano, I think small. That's all I think. Wow. That was. I did not call my grandmother that, but it probably could have worked. Hey, she's oh. not that small. Come <laughs> on. Sorry, sorry, Grandma Nano. nano. Grandma Nana. Let's call her Nano. Grandma Nano. <laughs> Grandma um, nano. But. Now, back to AI, you had an article you were talking about, oh, and yeah. of course, we went all Kaliwa. Well, I mean, it's like, <clears throat> it's just, sure. I, that, and my, I, I was trying to get, to, you actually helped me get to my point. So, you know, everybody's like, oh, AI is going to ruin the world, blah, 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 blah. Let's so, send it to other worlds. Right. So, <laughs> to me. <laughs> so, we're really weaponizing it at this right, point. Right. There you go. <laughs> Go ahead. Finish reading the headline. Uh, so uh, AI could be the perfect tool for exploring the universe. <laughs> How? It's, we're not talking about algorithms. No, right? we're talking about AI that can go out there and adjust and learn on the fly. Oh, literally. like um, oh, oh, Star Trek. The Borg. No, 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 no. The the the, the satellite that went out. Oh, uh, V'ger came back. V'ger. Or Nomad. V okay, both or Nomad. of them were good. Yep. Nomad in the original, and then Voyager, you know, Nomad which became V'ger, went out, adapted, learned. Well, he no, V'ger was found, oh, by recognized a, by a, uh, Borg. a, a technology-based, probably it was Borg. the Borg. Okay, and, and so it augmented its programming and added artificial intelligence to V'ger that it didn't have. And then V'ger came back, to report on everything it had found. So that's why Star Trek is so much better than Star Wars. It definitely has a lot more to talk about, yes. Yes. Um, so, <clears throat> but yes, that, that's, that's the V'ger line. But in this case, um, because artificial intelligence is able to adapt and learn infinitely faster than a human. So it, AI it, yeah. has, in, in your opinion, yeah. AI has to be a product. It is a self-sustaining... Not a program. Correct. See, like here, you know, this is why yeah. Perilla trained an AI program to do the looking mm -hmm. for him. See, they're using AI, actual AI in medical. That's what Watson is. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when Watson looks at a medical case, it's able to diagnose stuff that no human doctor can ever think of because Watson has everything. And Watson isn't prejudiced. And it's that same kind of thinking that makes it ideal for exploring the universe. Right. Because it's not going to show up and go, holy crap, you're ugly, and start a war. Okay, it's going to show up and go, fascinating. You know, and so basically we're sending Vulcans out. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Klingons. Live long and prosper. Um, so, yeah, and, and, that, and I think that's what everybody, because everybody thinks 
and again, I was trying to get my mm-hmm. point. You got there <laughs> quicker than I did, but mm-hmm. but I wanted to get there slower. Um, Siri is not AI. No. Siri is an algorithmic yep. piece of software. Yeah, as that, is Alexa, as is everything else. Right. Which is why Siri cannot invent its own answer for you. So when you ask it where to hide a body, some programmer back there put in, <laughs> okay, do you want to hear the music from Pulp Fiction? There's no swamp yeah. located near you. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, yeah, that's the, 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 funny. Those are all programmed in there. <clears throat> So, um, and there's a, a, another story about an AI reading list from practical primers to sci-fi short stories. All of these are just books yep. about AI. Oh, the book of why? That's not. That's just a girl franchise. Yeah, I've seen this. Uh, uh, that's art funny. Of, uh, well, AI weapons of math destruction. Weapons of math destruction. I forgot what. Try to say that real three times real nope. fast. <laughs> there was this website where you can put in like you know a few words or a sentence, and it'll automatically, from that, be able to generate a full featured story or write a book. Yep. It almost instantaneously. Right. From just a few words yeah. that you put in. Yep. Which is. Which is basically a little more than predictive text. Yeah. And nobody would, would call predictive text artificial intelligence. <laughs> it's simply looking back over things that you've said and then finding the next word that you usually say after that. And then go into it. there, and it just kept going. And it just keeps going. So, cuckoo. So, okay, so speaking of <clears throat> AI, Al Gore, Al- yeah. Al Gore? So, yeah. Okay. Al Gore. Right Al Gore isms. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so, guess who's getting in trouble for selling stuff that they know for a fact 100% is going to die? Good old Sonos. Okay. What they do this? The very time? one sell. Well, they're suing Google, right? Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah, they're selling uh, because of their, they didn't plan on their. Going, oh, we're going to get better as we get as we get older. We're going to build, we're going to build it better. We're going to make it better. Blah yeah. blah blah. They'd rather blame somebody else for their failure. Mm-hmm. It's another one of those. I ate the, I ate I ate twenty five cakes. Now I'm fat. Now I'm going to blame the cakes on being being fat. No, it's you, your problem. You know the problem is people want the stuff to be able to communicate in their homes and and really start you know integrating, and some of these legacy products that they've produced don't have that capability Mm-mm. and the problem is usually has to do with like secured connections and stuff like that to be able to communicate and so because of that you know that they, their newer the newer you know speakers or s- stuff that comes out can connect to you know secured connections or secured servers and can communicate better yeah so because of that they have to rewrite the, the hardware or have mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. hardware inside the speakers yeah. well i'm, I'm I'm going to give a real-life example from yesterday. We're down, um, my phone died, so, you know, put the phone. You know. And, um, but we're standing there talking, and my wife, who has, you know, tiny hands, she likes her old SE, which mm-hmm. is like a 5, but, you know, upgraded. Yeah. And it's the last tiny phone that Apple made. And they're saying, well, you know, that actually won't be good in a little while because they're changing the towers. AT&T is changing the towers. And you won't be able to the antenna in, in your SE won't be able to pick up the signal anymore. Yeah. So, is that Apple's fault? Or is that AT&T's fault? In this case, you guys are arguing that it's Apple's fault that AT&T changed their towers. No. No. no I'm that's not saying that. Yeah, well, that's what you're saying with these guys. No, they this is, they this. didn't keep up with the technology changes that Google made. Well, in this case, they did not plan ahead. How do you? D- Apple did not plan ahead <coughs> with with the SE. Mm, true. Okay. Yeah, I guess they yeah. felt they felt that nobody would make any speakers that or had the capability of what they are were already doing. So why why change? Well, why can't they just system? go ahead and, and and change along with it? Well, they can on new product. Why can't they on old product? No. Why can't they just change <laughs> the antenna on the old iPhone SE? Exactly. They can't. That's sad. It's right in the hardware. So sad. It's permanently built in. Well, I mean, part of what you as, build. as as technology gets better, mm-hmm. your product. See, I mean, ton of, a mm-hmm. lot of people went and dumped a ton of money in the so, in the Sonos world. Yeah. I mean, it's and, and if you knew anything about their their systems are expensive, mm-hmm. like, especially when you go full blown. <clears throat> and and the guys like it's not it's not that it's not going to work. It'll work today. It'll work as long as that you keep this software and you keep it. It'll it'll still work now. Yep. 
you know, you know, when you buy, when do you buy a, do you buy a new car and go, oh, it's going to last forever? No. Well, there's always the hope. What they would have to, <laughs> what they would have yeah. to do is they would have to, and what it is is as they build their apps and stuff, as they grow, and that app can no longer connect to the legacy software because of the legacy hardware, because of you know security yeah. risks, things like that. Yeah. They will have to. They they don't need to support it, but they need to leave that app available. And, that, and, and that's then, what and that's and that's, they said and that's they what would, they're going to do. That's, that's what they're doing. They have no choice but leave leave <laughs> yeah. it there because they yeah. can't. Obviously. But AT and T is not leaving their antennas up, yeah, broadcasting on both you know systems, well, and that, so that's because somebody else bought that that tech that they uh, or the probably the bandwidth, so mm -hmm. they don't right on the right to broadcast it. That's all they're saying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. We yeah. lost it to T Mobile. <laughs> We got outbid. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny, you know. Let's let's talk about cell phones real quick. Everybody thinks that Verizon's got their own towers, and T-Mobile's got their own towers, and AT&T's got their own towers, and Cricket's got their own towers. They don't. Mm. Everybody's on the same damn tower. And yeah, literally. Literally on the same damn tower. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, the tower, up on the tower. And yeah. Ma Bell owns them all. Just dating you, yourself again. Do you remember um, Ma Bell? Of course I remember I mean, they, Ma Bell. Bell South, which, Ma Bell, they were... Well, for those who don't know, Ma Bell stands for Massachusetts Bell. <coughs> okay, that was the Massachusetts company. Ma Bell. Um, and then AT&T is the company that brought all the... They were called the Baby Bells mm -hmm. together into one company. Yep. And then they got busted up by an antitrust lawsuit. Yep. And so suddenly everything's like all back out again. And now you have singular wireless and you've got, you, you know, you've got a, a, um, what's it begins with GTE. It's all broken up again. And then it's like, okay, thanks everybody. And then they went out and over time they just bought them all back up again. Yeah. <laughs> and singular became AT&T <laughs> again. And, you know, yep. it's like, yeah, they, so, so, so they reassembled their, their Frankenstein again. Right. But um, but it's the same towers everywhere. Yeah, it, it's the same towers, but but they have their own dishes on them. Yeah. Okay. And they so, can only broadcast so they, on the the on the uh, um, bandwidth that they've purchased. Right. So. And I mean, you can really tell the difference because people will with Verizon will walk into our house, and they've got four or five bars. Our AT and T, which is what we have, is one bar at best. Yeah. And we've got a metal roof, and apparently the antenna is pointing the other way in our neighborhood. <laughs> We have a dead spot, okay, in our back. <coughs> it's your house. Back at, yes. Your house is the dead spot. As soon as you spot. drive out that back <laughs> driveway and you hit, you, you know, the, the, the dip in the road, all signals are off on oh, AT&T. And so they're definitely, they're not playing from the same, you know, antennas, but they're definitely all out there on the same towers. Yeah. And you see them when you're driving down the highway. You'll see these huge towers and you'll see four or five different radar dishes on them. And that's what they're doing. Crazy, crazy, Lovely. crazy, crazy. <laughs> so anything coming up that we need to know about in the computer world? No, nothing. nothing <clears> really anything going cool, on. man? Nothing, nothing cool enough that really warrants talking about. I mean, I just want to. I just want something that really is going to catch my eye. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of really looking at the new Xbox. And that, really? That, yeah, because <laughs> that that looks pretty cool. Now, I mean, as a uh, as a gamer, I'm. <laughs> I just don't know if I want to go. I don't. I'm really wanting Nintendo to come out with something. I don't, I don't think, think I bought an Xbox since 2001 or something like that. Xbox so does mine still work? No, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> so we had somebody bring in an original Xbox to be recycled. Did yeah. you really? Uh, and we sat there and looked at it and reminisced. Uh, <laughs> How did you recycle it? Well, it was just um, take it apart, put some glowy lights in there, and no, not to not to, not to. I mean, literally to get to get rid of. So we have a recycler that comes up, and picks up all the electronics and stuff. Uh, it goes and so pulls that, all the gold out of it. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we it's we just, work for we we stared at the Xbox and looked at it, <coughs> and I was like, ah, oh, man, yeah. See, now to me, I would thing. take the I'd take it apart, pull some guts out of it, put a couple little clear areas in there, and pop some lights into it, and make it. It didn't a, work anymore. Yeah, but you you don't have to work. No, but that's just it. Yeah, you put the lights in. You, pull, make it, you mod it. Oh, out, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna steampunk it. Like there a, you go. Steam Our steampunk it. Yeah, steampunk. There you go. Yeah. Steampunk so. Xbox. I've I've actually got one of those. Um, what was it? They came out with them the Sega games, I think. Or no, Atari. When they came out with their little mini consoles that had all of their games oh, in it. I have one of those. I've got one of those. Those too. are awesome. Windows uh, Seven extended security updates is gonna cost the German <laughs> government. 
$887,000. Oh, that's, that's outrageous. <laughs> they clipped them for a million euros. All they had to do is uh, stick, it on, stick them on VMs, and they would have continued to receive the updates. Yeah, but nobody told them that before <laughs> the bids were done. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. C'est la vie. Oh, my God. Well, we got a minute and a half to talk about. Uh, so if you've got questions or comments... We have discussion, but not necessarily answers. Yeah, and we're really good at we're good at bunny trails. God, we're good at bunny trails. <laughs> this was a long weekend, guys. Okay, we're tired, and so <laughs> so. This oh, is here's where something real quick. Netflix grew bigger even amid competition from Baby Yoda. <laughs> they so so so. I guess uh, Disney Plus didn't hurt them as bad as everybody thought they were going to hurt them. Nah, I, I, no, and I got to tell you, Netflix Netflix planned well. They put out some pretty amazing series well, right around watch, the same time. Did you watch, uh, uh, you watch Witcher? Yep, I watched Witcher. They put out season two yeah. of Lost in Space. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they just nailed it. Boom, 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 boom. And so it's like, okay, well, we'll do both. And that's okay. You can do both. Uh, and then, of course, you know, maybe Netflix also counted all the hits from you know, people thinking you know, they could watch The Mandalorian on Netflix. And they went there and they searched for it and they went, oh. But they counted those as users, right? I doubt yeah, that. See? Everybody. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> you have to remember, John, half the people in America are of below average intelligence. Well, no, they're not. America's smart. <laughs> We're smarter. Smarter. Yes, anyway, there. with that being said, we only got about 15 seconds. I'm John. This is Adam. This is Anthony. We are your tech shamans. Stay tuned. Watch us all. If you've missed the show, go back and rewatch it. Share it. Tell it to all your friends to go make fun of us. Whatever you want to do. Watch we will see again. you guys next week. Bye. 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 Technical and stuff for so yeah. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shamans. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shamans. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into the Tech Shamans. Come on, come on and turn it on. Tune into.